In this video, we're going to talk about minors and cofactors. Here's the determinant 3, 2, 1, 8, 2, 4, 5, 3, 7. For each of these nine elements, we have a corresponding minor and a cofactor. Let's talk about minors first. How do we find minors of these nine elements? Let's pick one. Let's pick this one, 3. To find the minor of 3, the first thing that we need is to ignore all the elements of the row and the column that has this element 3. So this 3 is in first row and first column. So we ignore all the remaining elements. What do we have left? We're left with this 2 by 2 matrix. The determinant of this matrix, M11, is the minor for this element. We call this 11 one because it corresponds to the first row and first element. So M11, the minor, that's equal to the determinant of 2, 4, 3 and 7. Let's find some more minors. Let's find it for this element 2. Let's ignore all the others. 3 and 1 go away because they're in the first row. And then these two, 2 and 3, they go away. We're left with these two and these two. Now, if we combine these two, we get a 2 by 2. And the determinant of that, that's going to be our next minor. That's M12. 1 stands for first row and 2 stands for second column. So this corresponds to the element that's in first row, second column. It's this one. So minor corresponding to this element is going to be determinant of 8, 4, 5 and 7. All right. Let's see if we can find the minor for this element too. Pause the video. Try this out. Okay. So let's ignore 8 and 4 of the second row and 2 and 3 of the second column. We're left with these four elements, 3, 1, 5 and 7. So together they'll form a 2 by 2 and the determinant of that, that's going to be our M2. 2, 2. So M22, that's determinant of 3, 1, 5, 7. Let's take one last example. 7. What's the minor for this element? So ignoring 5 and 3 and 1 and 4, we left with this 2 by 2. The determinant of this one is going to be our M33. So M33 is going to be determinant of 3, 2, 8, and 2. So we can go ahead and find the values as well. Pause the video. Find the values of these four minors. Okay, let's do this together. So this is 14 minus 12, that's going to be 2. This is 56 minus 20, that's going to be 36. This is 21 minus 5, this is 16. And this is 6 minus 16, that's going to be minus 10. Now, with the same approach, we can find the remaining minors as well. Let's also learn about cofactors. For cofactors, we take the values that we got in this process, the values of minors, and then we add signs to those values. We add signs in this pattern. On top left, we have plus and then minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. So we can see that these signs alternate. Let's use these signs and these values to find some cofactors. So let's find the first one. Cofactor is written by A, capital A. So this is A11, cofactor corresponding to the first row and first element. That's plus M11. We take the sign from here and the value from here. So plus M11, this is 2. So this is going to be 2. What's going to be A12? That's going to be minus of M12 is the negative of this minor. So that's minus of 36. Now, in a way, these cofactors are signed minors. We take the values from these minors and put signs on them. And a way to get these signs would be to raise the power of minus 1 to i plus j. If you're on i-th row and j-th column, if that's the element that you're looking at, then you add i plus j and raise minus 1 to that power. We can check this as well. i and j are equal to 1 for this one. So 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 is an even number. Minus 1 square is 1. That's plus 1. That's where we get this positive sign. For this one, i is 1 and j is 2. So this is 1 plus 2. That's 3. It's an odd number. This means it stays negative. This is 1, 3. Add 1 plus 3, you get 4. This is positive and so on. Now let's practice this. Let's find all minors and cofactors for all elements of this determinant. Pause the video. Try this out. Okay. Let's do this together. Let's first find minors. Let's find M11. That's going to be the determinant of 0, 4, 5 and minus 7. Let's list down all the minors first. M21, which is for this element. 
that's going to be if we ignore this column and this row it's going to be minus 3 5 5 and minus 7 determinant of this 2 by 2 then we have m 3 1 for this element we ignore these two and these two we get minus 3 5 0 and 4 determinant of this 2 by 2 similarly we have m 1 2 for this element we have 6 4 1 and minus 7 m 2 2 for the middle central element that's going to be 2 5 1 minus 7 for m 3 2 we have 2 5 6 and 4 let's do the remaining 3 m 1 3 for this element we have 6 0 1 5 this 2 by 2 for m 2 3 we have 2 minus 3 1 and 5 and for m 3 3 this bottom right element we have 2 minus 3 6 and 0 now let's find these values m 1 1 that's 0 minus 20 that's minus 20 m 2 1 that's 21 minus minus plus so that's 21 minus 25 that's minus 4 m 3 1 that's minus 12 minus 0 that's minus 12 m 1 2 that's minus 42 minus 4 so it's minus 46 m 2 2 that's minus 14 minus 5 that's minus 19 m 3 2 that's 8 minus 30 that's minus 22 let's do the last three m 1 3 that's 30 minus 0 that's 30 m 2 3 that's 10 minus minus 3 so that's 10 plus 3 that's 13 m 3 3 that's 0 minus minus 18 so that's 0 plus 18 that's 18 so we have these nine minors with us now let's find cofactors for that we need signs plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus which means the signs change for these four minors minus 46 minus 4 minus 22 13 the ones colored in green so if we change the signs for these four, if we flip the signs for these four, these are our cofactors. A11 is minus 20, it stays the same. Then we have minus four, this becomes four. Then minus 12, then we have minus 46, this becomes 46. Minus 19 stays minus 19. Minus 22 becomes 22. 30 stays 30. 13 becomes minus 13. And 18 stays 18. So these are our nine cofactors.